Hey, this is James Blackburn from Canada West Internet Marketing. And if you're a webmaster or somebody who has access to your site as a webmaster, and you're coming across this alert that's been sent out this morning on July 28, 2015, Googlebot cannot access CSS and JS files, and it'll give you your URL for the site that's being affected. Uh, if there's a little bit of confusion as to what's going on here, an easy fix, especially if you have a, a WordPress site, this is what most of these are coming up for, is for WordPress. There's actually an easy fix, but I'll just show you some of the steps here to take a look as to what's going on. If you open up your Webmaster Tools and click on Messages, you'll see the message for the, uh, as long as you've got the property um, selected, that uh, you are, the site that you're, you're taking a look at. Let's take a look at what they've got to say here. Uh, there's blocked resources, there's CSS and JS files that they've decided now that they want to get access to. So what you want to do is actually follow these steps if you want to make sure this is exactly what the issue is, is what I'm about to show you. We're going to fetch as Google. Um, I do recommend fetch and render. It's showing up a little bit better results. So if you just fetch and render and give that a couple minutes, it's going to do, say, pending for a bit. So I'm going to pause the video and once that's ready to go, we'll take a look at what's going on. Okay, so it's done its check, and you can see that the status it's saying is that there's partial, meaning that there's part of it that's blocked and that it wants access to. So let's click on that and take a look. Showing you what the, everybody else sees, showing you what the Google sees, and it shows you down below what uh, the issue is. There's some scripts that it wants access to that are blocked. So let's take a look at the robots text and see what it's got an issue with. If you take a look here, this is the main one that it's having issues with. It wants access to W include, P includes now. Before it didn't have uh, Google didn't have an issue with that. Now it does. We're also disallowing WP admin. I think what we're going to do is to make it so it's easy for Google to find everything. Let's just say forget it and make sure that we allow everything. What's happening is that the WordPress default is to block these two. WP includes and WP admin in the robots text. You might go to your FTP uh, client and find that you can't find the robots text in the root. Let's take a look at the root of your website. Can't find a robots text. That's because WordPress is automatically setting it up within here. So how we're going to fix this? Pretty simple. Get into your site through FTP. If you don't have access, get access. In WP includes, which is in your root folder, you'll find a file called functions.php. Let's open it up with your favorite text editor. Now, if you do a search for robot, you're going to find down here the function do robots. This is where it's spitting it out. This is where it's uh, disallowing it. So these two lines here, what you're going to want to do is delete those lines. Make sure you delete right back up to the next line up here. because. Uh, Leaving a blank line is not a smart idea. So your output here, disallow WP admin, disallow WP includes. We're going to get rid of those two. We're not going to save the file. You can see it's now saved over here. Let's go back into Google. And we are going to take a look at the robots here. Um, if we do a quick refresh on here. Actually, I should let you know that uh, a refresh sometimes will not work on this because it takes a couple minutes for Google to discover that it, the robots has been changed. If you take a look at the live one, you can see that we've cleared it out. Um, let's go back to the fetch testing here. Let's go to fetch again. And uh, what we want to do is we're going to fetch as Google again. And we'd want to do the fetch and render again. Again, I, you could do the fetch, but the fetch and render, I just like it a little bit better. It just works a little bit better for what we need. And then uh, let's wait for that to be completed. So you might find that after everything is run, it'll still say partial. In this situation, we don't really care about that because what's happened now is that it is fine because these are just certain images and um, uh, items that we don't care about them finding. And uh, if you go back over the robots text tester, you can see now that it's discovered that everything's allowed. That is your quick fix to how to fix the issue with Googlebot cannot access CSS and JS files on your website. Have a good day. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below.